Dutch, get well. I'm sure you're uh, you're watching this. You're a big fan of uh, all the shows here on uh, Sports Kita and Russell Binge, and uh, um, yeah, you're gonna definitely gonna kick out and be back. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to an all-new episode of the Wrestling Time Machine by Sports Kita. You can find us at YouTube under Wrestle Binge. Of course, you'll find us on Twitter, on Facebook. Just make sure you share, subscribe. Subscription is really important because whenever we have something new like this right here, if you're subscribed, you'll know just like that. So make sure you go down there and subscribe. I want to welcome everybody to the show, my host. Um, my, hmm, yeah, buddy. My name no, is Matt Davis, right. and I am your host, along with my two co-hosts, <laughs> WWE Hall of Famer. Don't even start on me, Teddy. Uh, Teddy Long. Hey, Teddy. <laughs> is, there, is there just one intro that you could do without messing it up? Hey, I look, I'm, I'm going weeks without messing up. This is the first one I've done in a while. What I'm weeks? I don't know it. anybody that with them weeks. I must not be must have been on your own. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, you start taking count of all this stuff. Uh, and of course, uh, uh, along with this is my uh, other co-host for this show, and he is pro wrestling journalist, Mr. Bill After. Hey, Bill. I'm yeah. kind of looking at the job description here, Matt, and it's <laughs> Eddie. going to startle me too, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. Look what here, are we I talking saw- about? We're so, so g- great to be back here on the time machine. And I always mention people say, what's well, the time machine? Aren't you going backwards? Well, this is run days after we tape it, so it's already... Yeah, sometimes we don't even know when it airs. We just see it when it comes up, and it's like, oh, oh yeah, that was that one. I remember that. Wait a minute. It airs? It airs, yes. Well, you know... Right here on Wrestle Binge. (laughs) Guys, uh, I saw something today. Right right before we went on air, I was reading something uh, online, and it just... I know it's not huge news, but it's the end of an era, really. WWE will officially stop selling physical media such as home videos and DVDs uh, in the uh, coming year here. They'll be finished with it. Uh, they're finishing everything out now. And for me, that's right. What the hell are you doing, Bill? I'm sorry, guys. I just... You oh, know he's what he's okay. doing. Yeah. He's getting out his you know, it's funny. I never had an idea that you were going to bring this up, but I was yeah. cleaning my office the other day and putting things in various piles. And this was the, uh, this is the top, on my yeah, the, the, and what what Bill is showing, if you're just listening to us, Bill is showing us uh, ver- various DVDs uh, from the WWE and other wrestling groups, and and you know, but my point, guys, is this that uh, I know we all came up through a time when albums were out and the album art was just as important as the record that was in the side the sleeve, yeah. and to see a lot of the media disappear bothers me. Uh, only because I have collections of these things, just like what Bill was showing us a moment ago. You acquire a collection that you own. You can yep. access at any time because it's in your hands. Once you start losing that stuff, what do fans bring to the uh, meet and greets? They have you sign, you know, because I mean, everything's digital. It's all in on. Well, they're only the going to I guess. Mac, they, from what I read, they're going to uh, WWE is going to stop producing these, but the great ones from the past, you'll be able. To, I'm sure. People at the conventions will be able to still get these. They're just but eventually, not but eventually it's going to go the route of what album sales did. Uh, they'll disappear. You won't see the albums anymore. You know, the vinyl's <laughs> gone. Teddy, I know you, I, you know, you and I, we were both in radio, so we know what the albums and the album covers and inside the oh, sleeves look like. Sure. Uh, the eight tracks, the cassettes, hell, the carts, the, the giant reels of tape you had to put up. All of that's disappearing, but it's not really the technology that bothers me, Teddy. It's the fact that you no longer actually own any of that stuff anymore. It's now has to be accessed via the internet. Doesn't that bother Remember you at all? This? Well, I, you know, I, it, it really doesn't bother me because the one reason why, there's nothing I can do about it. Yeah. And number two is the world is changing. And gentlemen, we just have to, you know, get it in our wits and know that we have to change with this world, no matter what direction it's going in. And it's certainly some parts of it, I believe, is going in the wrong direction. But we just have to trust in God and try to deal with this new generation. Okay. Uh, Thank God we're still alive, all three of us, to be here to witness this, to be a part of this. You know, that's really the excitement for me is to be able to witness this change and to be a part of it. So... 
I think that we're real lucky to be here, man, and we just have to sit back and just uh, see what happens. Excuse me, excuse me. Can you sign my stream, please? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you sign my that's a good one? Yeah. I mean, you know, wait, wait, that's wait. the that's the part. It's just the collector in me and, and being able to go back and put your hands on old things like that. It, it's just yeah. hate to see it disappear. I understand well, why, but you, I hate to see you, it. If you've got some of them yourself, then make sure you keep them close to you because yeah. there may be some day that they may be triple worth than what they are now if yeah. you have got plans on yeah. selling them. If not, you want to keep them, then they'll be just stuff to pass along to your grandkids and generations on and on. So uh, if now, you got some of that stuff, I'd hold on to it unless you get the right price. Didn't that come from uh, WWE UK, uh, Mac? Was it I, I'll be honest with you, Bill. I'm not really sure. I don't have it in front I of me. I think it was the UK division that mentioned that. I'm not sure either. I just seen it in passing. I, you know, it doesn't surprise me. Now, when I saw home videos, I kept thinking, well, I, I haven't seen a, a video cassette used in I don't know how long. DVDs yeah. I have, but video cassettes yeah. I thought were already phased out. I, I've, I wanna, I've, oh. been, I've been transferring my old VHSC cassettes. I've been transferring them. To eight tracks, huh? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> and transferring them onto these. So. <laughs> Hey, uh, another update, people. I'm sorry, I bring up another update. One, one, of our, one of our sports kita own right now has been hospitalized, and I want to bring this up. Uh, Dutch Mantel, uh, just in the last couple of days, uh, last few days before this recording, uh, has ended up in the hospital. We don't know exactly what it is. Uh, I do understand, unless Bill has more information, that he is on the mend, but he's going to be in the hospital for several days. Is that about accurate, Bill? It's exactly what I've heard. I um, texted with him and he briefly answered me, just said uh, much love and thank you for the support. Um, so I don't know much more about that, but it, it came out of nowhere. Yeah. Uh, the gentleman who he does this uh, show with, this British gentleman who he does mm -hmm. this show with, did post an update online just saying he knows about as much as we do. But uh, no, Dutch, get well. I'm sure you're... Uh, you're watching this you're a big fan of uh, all the shows here on uh, sports kita and wrestle binge and uh um yeah you're gonna definitely gonna kick out and be back real shortly one dutch mantel by the way has got to be one of the few people in this business i've ever met that always says what's on his mind whether he's politically incorrect correct or whatever when he wants to say something and he means it he will do it he's a really good guy that's I the kind of person i like him. and i know teddy you're the same way i like people who are uh, you know kind of blunt if they have to be tell me where you stand that's i mean I, i'll judge you based on whatever you talk about and teddy i know you probably have got some stories with dutch uh, i know that uh, recently dutch was putting you over big time on his podcast yeah uh, well yeah, I, I, Dutch is, uh, good. him and I were great friends, you know what I mean? Uh, we got along. We didn't really never have any problems. And that's why I said when Dutch made a comment about me, I knew it had to be true and it came from the heart because Dutch didn't have to do that. We wasn't like buddy, buddy. We didn't ride together or go to the bars together. We just spoke in passing. Sometimes we, he'd be talking to someone and maybe I'd step in and be a part of the conversation. But other than that, that was about it. But yeah, I, I thank God for Dutch, man, you know, and I'm able to speak out myself now. I ain't got to worry about being fired. Or I'm, I'm pretty sure I got a lot of heat right now probably for speaking out. But, I mean, you know, hey, at a certain time, you know, you just get tired. So. <laughs> Look, yeah, you get a certain age. And honestly, I, I've yeah. told my wife this before. I've gotten to a point in my age now where... If I don't like you, I don't like you, and I don't care. And I mean, and I, I don't have to take on anybody else's crap anymore. I can just yeah. deal with mine and be in my little own happy world, and thank I don't have you, to deal thank with you. that. And you still keep me on as a co-host, And huh? we still keep right. you on here. We're Speaking of co-hosts, I had a chance to co-host a couple of shows with Dutch, uh, not uh, not too recently, I mean, too long ago is what I'm trying to say. Uh, really enjoyed it. We had It's like talking to you two, which was really refreshing for me because – the second he started talking and I started talking, it was like we're just two friends chatting. So I enjoyed that. Dutch, get better, get well soon. I look forward to filling in anytime you need it. Uh, and uh, we all wish you the best uh, getting up and out of that hospital and get back home. Yeah, yeah, we do.